All the stories? I, I, I don't know this movie. So what movie? Love. Uh, okay, so I haven't watched it. Could you briefly talk about it? It's what I genre have, is that? It's a, a have to have to have to have to it's like it's have to um, to 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 uh, to episode to seasons to to what? Um, it's like a cap, cap, caterpillar. What? Caterpillar? Yes. Caterpillar. I think you, I think you are not saying correctly. I think you know something is wrong right here. Chapter? You mean two chapters? C H A P T E R. Uh, it's out. <coughs> oh, okay, write the name. Write the name in chat box to me. So write the name. Um, okay, wait for me. This been uh, with uh, I I I write for you I write for you yeah of course just type it in chat box so that I can find it okay Uh, wow. this. Okay, so let me find it. Okay. Let me find it. Wait. Okay, I could find something, so let me show you. Lara, what? This one? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you like, ah, you like it. Okay, so if you want to watch it, you need to talk about it. So I want to know what is actually what this animation is about. And so briefly talk about the story, then we will watch it together. So tell me. So as I can see, it's about Obama? it's about Obama? larva. So larva and a what? Is it comedy or or what? What genre is that? Huh? What genre? Do you remember genre means type of movie? What genre is that? Uh, I don't know. Ah, you don't know? You can see it. You can see it's an animated film. Animation, yeah? 
So animation or animated film, okay? And what is it about? Yeah. Say, what is it about? It's about a uh, two cap cap the bear. Two larvas, of course, they are larva. So, of course, caterpillar larva, of course. And so maybe uh, some stories, yeah? Yes. So let's see. Uh, larva, it's less salt. Yeah, interesting. So let's see what we have. And this one, meet some new friends. Okay. So tell me, uh, is it in American English? Uh, yes. Yes. Can you up, okay. up, 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 yes, this, you, this. you need to say uh, scroll have a up, scroll up. This one? No, have a sushi, up, one more, up, uh, uh, yes, uh, up, 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 yes, yes, this. You, okay, wait, you don't say up. up. Oh, you say sushi scroll lava. down. Sushi. Scroll sushi down. Lava. Listen, you need to say scroll down. This is scroll down. This is scroll up. Scroll okay. up. Scroll so, down. Uh, slow, slow down. Uh, and uh, I want to watch Sushi Lava. So, of course, just let me, let me. Yes, yes, this, this, this. Scroll up. Scroll down. Okay, just type in chat box. Okay. Yeah, I want to watch Sushi Lava. Sushi. Yeah. Oh, but that's too long. It's 44 minutes, so it's too long. We uh, can't but watch. We can. Uh, we can divide it into two parts. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, because we need to talk about it. So, why not? Sushi okay. Lava. Let's see. Pay careful attention because I will ask you questions, okay? If you want. They don't speak. They don't speak. So, okay, so they don't speak, yeah, right? Hmm. Right? They don't talk, right? Why don't you answer? They don't yes. talk, right? Yeah, so they don't yeah. talk. So we need to watch something that they talk because we're going to learn English, okay? So we know it's, it doesn't work. So I need to skip this one. No, this one is not good. Okay, so recommend something else. What else? Unfortunately, larva is not a good choice, but, but, but let me see what we have. Okay, so just wait a moment. If I can find something, it can be great. Just wait a moment to. Because, you know, there is no. Okay. 
word, English word in this cartoon. So I think it doesn't work. So it's not really useful to watch it now. But, but let me find another story for you. Okay, let me see. Let's find it together. Okay, let's see. Oh, this one. Do you want to watch this one? The fisherman and his wife. Do you want to watch? Okay. I think it's good to watch. It's an interesting story. So let's watch it together. Once upon a time on the shore of the deep blue sea, a fisherman and his wife were living in a tiny cottage. The fisherman used to go to the seaside every day and fish with his fishing rod. He was quite content to live like this, but his wife was not as happy as he was. Ugh, look at that disgusting cottage, moldy and damp everywhere. I am tired of cleaning every day. The fisherman was very much in love with his wife, but no matter what he did, he could not make her happy. If he brings her fish, she wants crab. If he picks apples, she craves pears. One day, the fisherman went fishing as usual. He swung his fishing rod into the water and started to wait. After a few hours, the tip of his fishing rod finally trembled. Oh, a fish hit the hook, but out! This must be a stubborn big fish! The fisherman pulled, 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 and was surprised to finally see the flounder on the tip of his fishing rod. Because this fish was golden and shining brightly. You finally managed to catch me, didn't you, fisherman? Huh? Did you just talk to me? Or am I going crazy? You heard right, fisherman. But listen, I'm not like the other fishes. I'm actually a prince under a spell. I can't believe this. Free me, fisherman. Please don't kill me. Even make a wish and I'll make it come true because you saved me. No, no, no need. I've never seen a talking fish before. Of course I will free you. Come on. Go back to the seas. The fisherman returned home with great excitement. Why did you come back early? Didn't you catch fish? Couldn't you at least bring some fruit? No, darling. I caught a fish today, but... But? But that fish was talking. He told me he was actually a prince. What? And what happened then? Well, then he asked me to make a wish. But that moment I was shocked and I immediately let him back into the water. So you found a magic fish and left it back in the water without asking for anything? Huh, I cannot believe you. You saved his life. You could make a wish in return, like a house. Go catch that fish again and ask for a new home to make me happy. The fisherman could not refuse his wife's request and went back to the seaside. Flounder, flounder, fish, prince, I just want to make a wish. Come on, make true this wish. Tick tock, tick tock. The fish just came out of the water. What do you want, fisherman? Tell me. My wife is not happy at all. Tired of living in a cottage. She wants a nice house. So go home, fisherman. She has a new home now. 
The fisherman ran home and saw his wife standing in front of a perfect house. The inside of the house was full of brand new furniture and everywhere was immaculate. Oh, husband, we will no longer live in a cottage, but in a wonderful house, and everything is new and clean. Yes, my wife. Now we can live happily ever after in this house, right? <laughs> we can never know that, my darling. That night, the fisherman's wife could not sleep. As soon as the morning came, she made another request from her husband at the breakfast table. Husband, this house seems too small for us. I want a bigger house, even a palace. What? I want to be a queen, don't you understand? Go and tell that to the fish prince. The fisherman went to the seaside with thoughts in his head. Flounder, flounder, fish prince, I just want to make a wish. Come on, make true this wish. Tick tock, tick tock. My wife is not happy at all. Why, fisherman? She wants to have a palace. So go home, fisherman. Your wife now lives in a palace. When the fisherman returned, he saw that there was now a huge palace where his house was and his wife was sitting on a huge throne in the palace hall. My darling, you really have become a queen. <laughs> yes. So are you happy now? No, I actually want to be the empress, not the queen. What? A fish can't make you an empress. Do you understand? Let the fish prince decide that. Come on, move. Go ask the fish to make me the empress. The poor fisherman went to the seaside sadly to make his wife happy. Flounder, flounder, fish prince. I just want to make a wish. Come on, make true this wish. Tick tock, tick tock. My wife is still not happy. Well, is that so? So what does she want this time? She... She wants to be an empress. So go home, fisherman. Your wife is now an empress. When the fisherman came running back, he could not believe his eyes. The palace was now much larger than before. Moreover, there were guards at the door. His wife, on the other hand, was now sitting on a more glorious throne as an empress. Oh, my darling, you really have become an empress. Yes. <laughs> so are you happy now? Hmm, I don't know. We'll talk about it later. I'm so tired today. We better sleep now. The fisherman and his wife lay on the bed to sleep. The fisherman fell asleep, praying that his wife would not want anything more from him. However, his wife did not sleep again. She had been thinking all night about what more she could want from that magic fish. A week has passed. The woman called her husband before her and made a request. Husband, time keeps running out. I want to control time. I want to live above the clouds and rule the sun and the moon. What are you saying, wife? Why do you want such a thing? Why is this abundance, wealth and power not enough? If you want me to be happy, go to that fish prince now and tell him my wish. I can't do this, my darling. Please stop now. Oh, but don't you want me to be happy? The fisherman risked everything to make his wife happy and went to the seaside again. Flounder, flounder, fish prince, I just want to make a wish. Come on, make true this wish. Tick tock, tick tock.
I'm not happy. I'm sorry about that, fisherman. What does she want this time? My wife wants to control time. She wants to rule the sun and the moon in a palace above the clouds. All right, fisherman, go home. Your wife now has what she wants. When the fisherman came running back, neither his wife nor the palace were there. When he looked up, he saw that the clouds were far away from him. Oh, my wife, where are you? You are far from me now. The fisherman hurried back to the seashore and called the fish prince. Flounder, flounder, fish prince, I just want to make a wish. Come on, make through this wish. Tick tock, tick tock. What happened to my wife? I just fulfilled her wish. She gave up everything to rule time above the clouds. So neither you can see her, nor can she see you. Oh, fish prince, I saved your life, but I never asked you for a wish myself. I always wanted something for my wife. Please help me. Give me back my wife. Hey, what are you doing? What are you making? What is that? Hmm? What are you making? Oh, so why? It's something like, you know, a special thing? What is that? <coughs> I think so. Yeah, just stick. You just said why? I stick something in my nail. You're the what? Okay, so let's see the end of the story. Mm, and you're right, fisherman. Something that tell me. Do what is your wish? May my wife always be with me and very happy. This is my wish. Well, fisherman, go home. Your wife has everything to be happy. The fisherman ran home with great excitement. He was very surprised to see this new situation. His wife was waiting for him in front of the cottage, just like in the old days. Oh, my husband, I couldn't realize the worth of what I had. I was actually very happy with you in this small and cute cottage. Oh, my wife, I love you so much. From that day on, the fisherman's wife understood that even the smallest thing can bring happiness. Thus, they lived happily ever after in a clean house with delicious food every day. So, tell me, what lesson did we learn from the story? What, Amy? Um, uh, uh, we don't... Uh, we need to happy and don't wish anything. Excellent too. So we need to be happy. We should be happy with everything that we have. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't or maybe we don't have to be greedy. Want more and more. So greedy, let me write something. The first word is greedy. Greedy means a person who wants more and more, more money. So greedy. A person who wants or desire more and more. So nothing is enough. So just more and more. Okay, greedy. Well, Amy, would you help me to write the story on the board? Because I'm going to write the story in the board. So if you help me. Uh, so once upon a time, there was a fisherman. Yeah? Yes. A fisherman, a person, person. job is 
catch a fish. Of course, fishing. Yeah, catching a fish, fishing. And they lived, they lived in a... In a... Lake. Cottage. Cottage. So cottage means, cottage means a small house in countryside like village countryside you know out of city not inside so he lived in a cottage but you know and of course the cottage was located on the shore shore is beach shore means beach Amy, may I ask you to pay careful attention, please? So it's not good, my dear. Okay, if you want to do something, I can wait for you. Then when you finish, I can talk, okay? Just you finish it, and then when you are really ready, tell me to get started, okay? Okay. Amy, let me ask you a question. Don't you like learning English? Not. Why no? Why no? Because maybe in the future you will travel somewhere or maybe you will apply in university or I don't know, maybe you will immigrate to, to another country, maybe to the US or to the UK. So why don't you like? I don't like but, but it's really, you know, of course, maybe we don't like studying. We don't like to go to school, but that is really important. And we have to, we have to study, we have to go to school, you know? So, of course, I know it can be sometimes, I don't know, boring. What is it? What am I learning? But, you know, we have to. Because, you know, when you are a beautiful girl, and in the future, maybe you will travel, maybe a lot of places, yeah? Yes. So you need to learn. Do you agree? Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. Let's do something. Do you want to tell me a story? You tell me something. Yes. Oh. Something really interesting. Maybe a memory. Something that you really like to talk about. Do you want to talk? No. So why? So what do you want to do? Uh, I want. Uh, yeah. I. I want to. It's like um. Um. Why? Anything you want. So it's your choice. What do you want to do? want to have uh, some uh, it's like a break time oh you want to have break time so okay and after that you're going to study okay so how much how much time do you need huh? five minutes so how much time do you need how much break time uh, it's after i learn with you no after you need to rest yeah got it so after class you will rest of course of course why not but what are you doing actually tell me what you want to do now now i want i don't want to do anything ah <laughs> i said do you want to dance because as i know amy is really good at dancing yeah You want to dance? No. No. Okay. Every day in school, I dance and I cannot have a practice to sleep. Ah, so so every you don't have enough time to sleep. Yeah. Ah, so you mean in afternoon? So after school? That's yeah, cool. I do. So because of this, you actually get tired. You feel tired, yeah? And I cannot sleep because I need to then 
uh, to the, the end of the end of year. Yeah, of course you need to study, but of course you will have summer break. Yeah. No summer. I need to learn more English. Of course, so English is good. It's not good. <laughs> English is easy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So when you're ready, tell me to get keep going. Okay. Okay. Can I take away? Wait me to find my pen. Okay, of course. Then, Okay. Wow. Let's go. Okay. So, so one day, uh, one day fisherman went to the beach. Okay, to catch fish, and he swung his rod towards the water. So, swing. Okay, so like this, throw. Like you know when you, like you know when you quickly get the rod toward the water, it means swing. Past form of swing means swan. Okay, well, swan is fishing rod. What is fishing rod, Amy? Fishing roll is like a, it's like a magic fish. No, fishing rod is stick that you use to actually catch fish. Okay, fishing rod. Let me show you. It's something like this. Like for example. Yes. Yeah like this like this that you use to get fish to catch fish so he swung his rod toward the water and he could catch something because fishing rod trembled tremble means shake shaked move so he thought, oh, he could find a big fish, but it was a magic fish. Who could, you know, who was a prince actually, and the fish could make his wish come true. So, yeah, yeah the fish asked fisherman to free. And fisherman said, of course I would because I, you know, 
haven't seen any talking fish before, so of course I would. Well, and fishing man went back home. Went back home. So what happened then? And happened then is her uh, his wife is angry. Yeah, was angry because his wife okay, was not as happy as her man. So let me talk about this, Amy. As, as. Do you know the grammar as, as? Uh, no. For example, I want to say that, Amy, you are beautiful and your mom is beautiful. You like your mom. You are like your mom. So both of you are beautiful. I say, Amy is as beautiful as her mom. It means Amy's mom is beautiful and Amy is beautiful as well. <coughs> Would you make another sentence using as as? Yes, I understand. Would you make another sentence? Huh? Would you make another sentence using as as? Um. I think. Mm. Oh my God! This. Okay, I try it. Yeah. Um. Uh. But I can. Let me explain again. Just Amy. Okay. Full attention. Okay. If you don't look at the board and if you don't listen to me, I stop class. Okay, my dear. So pay careful attention. Just look at the board and listen. Amy is as beautiful as her mom. So we have as plus adjective as. And the first name, Amy. And is Amy, you and your mom. Who is taller? You are taller or your mom is taller? My mom is taller. So, so Amy is not, is not as tall as her mom you are not the same you are not equal your mom is taller so you are not as tall okay now let me ask you another question so amy who is uh smarter your friend or you my friend okay so you should say Amy, for example, is not, but I say Amy is as smart as her friend. It means you and your friends are the same. So when you want to compare two persons or two, uh, maybe the thing, you can say as as they are the same or not as as they are not the same. So, <laughs> for example, uh, Amy, for example, can speak English as well as okay. here, Amy, I have an adverb, not adjective. I don't say as good because of speak. So, if I have the verb is or am or are, I use adjective. Is as tall as her mom or is not. Okay, Amy, it's your turn. You make a sentence using as as or not as as. Um, 
Okay. Thank you. Miss Monica is as beautiful, beautiful as her friend. Oh, great. Very good. Excellent. As beautiful. It means we are the same. Me and my friend. Excellent. OK, and not as as would you say? Uh, Miss Monica is not as short as her mom. Yeah, my mom is shorter. You want to say my mom is shorter, OK? But you know, when you say actually you need to put the person who is shorter at the beginning so my mom is not as tall as me for example yeah you can say that was really good excellent did you understand yes i understand great very good well let's keep going with the story so okay golden fish magic fish made made a fisherman's wish come true but the fisherman's wife was greedy she wanted more and more and more so what was the last wish of oh, fisherman's wish? the last one the last wish that wife um, to come true. So what was that? Do you remember the last wish? Uh, uh, last wish is uh, his wife is want to take a moon uh, and live in a cloud. Of course, she wanted to control time. Control time to rule and control the moon and the sun. Wow. So it happened and she went to the sky. So what happened then? Of course, fisherman couldn't see his wife anymore. So he went to golden fish and asked it to uh, give her wife back. Of course, very good, okay. And he made a wish. That was he wanted to be happy with his wife. He wanted he, his wife to be happy all the time. And of course, the wish came true. And he lived with his wife happily and peacefully. Yeah? Yes. OK, great. Very good. And now just. Let me check the words, yeah. Okay. Wow. And now let's have a look at our dear. Oh, but you don't like Harry Potter. And but you know, but you know the story of uh, actually Harry Potter's book. Do you know the story? You know how, actually, how the author wrote the books. Um, let's look. Yeah. Um, my God, I, I I don't know how to say it. Uh, to say what? So try to explain it, then I can understand. Uh, uh, but uh, can you say again? I cannot hear. You know, uh, the, the writer, the author of Harry Potter's, Harry Potter's book, you know, is a woman. <coughs> okay. But how did she write the stories? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't know. You know, it's really interesting because, you know, uh, the author of Harry uh, that named J.K. Rowling, she was really disappointed, Amy. She was really sad before writing Harry Potter's book. But, you know, one day 
she decided to do something and she wrote. And you know, we know that Harry Potter's book became one of the most popular books in the world. And of course, movies, because you know, Harry Potter movies are made actually using the same stories from the stories from books. So, and they are really popular in the world. So normally most of people uh, watch the movies, at least they watch once, but you don't like it, of course. But let's listen to this audio. It's not bad, Amy, to listen. Let's listen and write and read and then we discuss it. Okay. Why not? Amy. Beautiful Amy. Okay. Forty nine. Culture Club B. Page forty eight. Exercise 2. Witches and Wizards. 12-year-old Amy Branning is very excited. Today, she visited the Harry Potter theme park in Orlando, Florida. Amy loves the Harry Potter books and movies. But how did they all begin? Author J.K. Rowling had the idea for Harry Potter on a train journey, but she didn't have a pen. When she got home, she started her first Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Five years later, in 1995, she sent the book to a lot of publishers, but they didn't like it. Finally, she got a yes from a publisher. And in 1997, the first Harry Potter book was in bookstores. Soon, it was a bestseller in the UK, the US, and around the world, too. Six other Harry Potter books followed, and they became bestsellers, too. In 2001, the first book became a movie. The movie director needed an actor for the part of Harry. In London, Daniel Radcliffe's parents heard about the movie, but they didn't tell Daniel. He was only 11 years old, and the location for the movie was Los Angeles. But the director thought Daniel was perfect for the part of Harry Potter. He changed the location from Los Angeles to London and Daniel got the part of Harry. The Harry Potter movies were very successful, but Harry Potter fans wanted more. In 2011, J.K. Rowling created a website, Pottermore. Visitors can learn to make magic spells and play interactive games. Today, there are Harry Potter theme parks in the U.S. and Japan. Visitors watch shows and go on rides inspired by Harry Potter. In London, fans can visit the Harry Potter movie studio. They see the movie sets and learn secrets about the special effects in the movies. So what's next for Amy? I'm a very big Harry Potter fan, she says. Maybe I can go to the studios in London next year. Ah, so you see? Yes. Well, so about author. Author means writer, Amy. Author means writer. Writer. Okay. Writer. Oh, let me put it here. Let me put it here. OK, so witches and wizards. So uh, have you ever thought about visiting 
Disneyland or Harry Potter theme park. Of course, not Harry Potter because you are not a fan of Harry Potter stories. But how about Disneyland? Have you ever thought about visiting Disneyland? Uh, no. Ah, don't you like it? No. Oh, really? It's really amazing. Why not? I don't know what I don't like. Ah, so why do you like? I want to know what you like. I don't know what I like. Oh, really? So yeah. you don't know what you, what you like? You don't know what? What are you doing? Just, just sit. You may fall down. Okay, just sit. Okay. What? So you don't know what you like. You don't know what not like. So nothing? Yes. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. So, but maybe in the future, you will be interested in Harry Potter and maybe uh, Disney Park, Disneyland. So why not? Okay. Well, let me ask you a question. Uh, the first that J.K. Rowling uh, wrote Harry Potter's book, the first book, was she successful to publish it? To publish means to print it to sell. To sell to different people. Was she successful at first? Could she make it available for public, for people? No. No, of course, yes. Make something available to public. Means publish. Okay, so we actually, we have a printed book and we sell it so that everyone can buy it okay my dear amy we need to stop uh, here we need to skip this topic for the next session but next session we'll talk about it again okay 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 now you can go and rest bye bye, bye.